what's up you guys divine chakras here welcome back to the channel so let's get back into some magical ass shit today we are talking about graveyard work okay and i know a lot of you guys um have been like super curious about my graveyard work because i think i touched on some graveyard dirt um, in a previous video and if you took my manifestation class then you know that I talked to you guys about manifesting with dark energy right because that is the quickest energy um, it actually works the fastest okay because dark energy actually moves faster than light all right so with that being said let's get started so what I want to tell you guys about today is how to adjust this here how to properly um, how to properly choose a graveyard to work out of, how to properly choose a graveyard, um, in which, or a cemetery in which you can go and gather, um, cemetery dirt, um, as well as bury things that like bury spell work that needs to be buried, things like that. Okay. So let's get started. So let's talk about graveyard dirt and I actually have some right here. That I want to show you guys. So this is my graveyard dirt. I have a lot of it <laughs> because I was not playing that day. Okay. And I can open it and show you guys. Ooh, every time I open it, it's like whoosh. Okay. So the one thing that I will say anytime working with any time of graveyard work, cemetery work, all that type of stuff is um you want to make sure that you are in the right frame of mind you are positively vibrating you are um energetically aware of your frequency and you also protect yourself and you also cleanse yourself okay um it is very important because you can go into a cemetery into a graveyard especially where you don't know any of the um, people who are buried there, um, someone can attach to your light and come back home with you and you could have a spirit in your house that you don't want. So it's very important to make sure um, that you, as like I said, that you cleanse yourself, but also that you protect yourself as well. Okay. Very, very, very important. So I will be honest with you guys, the graveyard, or I should, I keep saying graveyard, but the cemetery that I chose to work in is where my father is buried. All right. Um, I have a relationship with this particular cemetery because not only is my father buried there, but my cousin is buried there. My uncle is buried there and my grandparents, my mother's grandparents are also buried in this particular cemetery as well. So I have a, and then one of my cousins is buried there too. Okay. And one of my other cousins. So I have a soul um genetic tie even though i'm adopted um this is my family you know um my uncle is actually buried there too oh my god you guys i'm sorry so <laughs> so i have um i have a lot of connections with this particular cemetery so if you feel um compelled if you feel comfortable and this is something that you want to get into i would definitely suggest that you work with your ancestors um if you are able to get to a cemetery where your immediate ancestors are buried that is where i would do my work because you will be highly supported there you don't have to go in and try to build a relationship with spirit okay um now the particular um area where i captured this dirt was not at my father's site um but spirit actually led me to the site of where i could pick up this particular dirt all right um my father did tell me through telekinesis that i can use um his dirt from his grave site of course it's my father um but i didn't have the tools that day to like be able to dig so that's the only reason why i when i went this particular day to get this dirt um i was actually visiting some family and they live very close to the cemetery where my father is buried and so i just went over there to go see him and say hey but then um of course like spirit was like you need to get some dirt so you know i just asked spirit to direct me into where i need to go 
All right. Um, when you go in, you don't want to make a spectacle. You don't want to make a scene. You don't want to, you know, you want to be very, very discreet with what you're doing. Okay. And the reason why I say that is because this is a place of honoring those that have passed and not everyone aligns with the path in which we are on as dark workers, um, as brujas, as whatever it is that you want to call yourself, not everyone is aligned with the same path as us. So when you go into a cemetery and you're going to do work, number one, um, I personally would never go at night. Now, it is said it is best to go at night. For safety purposes, because of the way this world is, I wouldn't go at night. Now, if this is a cemetery where you know what it's like, like you, you can go at night, you can actually go and do the work at night, then it's best to do that. But I will say that, you know, it's okay to go during the night, the, during the day. It is okay. Um, but you want to go in, of course, like I said, um, with the utmost respect and you want to go in with the utmost gratuity. All right. So you want to bring offerings. If that means that you bring some rum, um, if you bring some tobacco, if you bring some coffee, if you bring flowers. All right. Um, if you bring a candle to burn, um, you know, you want to be respectable to those that have passed and you want to be respectable to the families that are living, that are there paying respects to their family members. So that's why I say to be discreet. All right. Making sure that you, it's not like you go in cloaked, but you go in looking regular if you want to go in and you know act like you're going to visit a family member and you just want to like you know kind of check the scene to see like where your intuition is leading you then take some flowers um to actually put into the headstone so that you know you'll look you'll look like you're a part of the crowd okay but you know don't go in with your witchy shit being all witchy and shit um i would not recommend that you do that okay you want to be highly, highly, that's why I said you must really know yourself when you're doing this type of work, okay? So know that you have to follow your intuition. So um, bringing offerings. So I didn't actually bring offerings again because um, I did not, it was on a whim that I went and spirit was like, grab it. Um, but you can also bring money. You can also put insert money into the ground if you want to do like money, if you want to burn ancestor money um, at the particular um, headstone or grave site, then you can do that as well. All right. You want to ask spirit. So we're getting into the next point here. You want to ask spirit what or what area particularly that 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 energy is willing to work with you. Anytime you take something from someone's grave, you must give it back. You must give something back. Whatever you take, you must give back. It's balance. Everything is in balance. Okay. The law of you know, about of correspondence, the law of polarity, you know, the, 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 the understanding and universal, um, law of whatever you give to someone, you know, you, in order to receive, you must give to someone. Okay. And that's what I meant to say. I apologize for that. Completely tongue twisted. All right. <laughs> so, um, moving on to my next point, which is actually finding, a um, a, a, an actual, like, area so you can ask spirit to guide you like i did or you can go and you can look at um you know each particular headstone to see like which one resonates with you um you know whatever it is you feel like you if you want to use your pendulum um to ask spirit if if they're willing to work with you this spirit must be willing to work with you otherwise they will wreak havoc in your life if they are not going to work with you and your energy then it's no point you might as well move on so for example when i went i went to go see my father and when i got the the message to get um some dirt uh, there was actually a fresh grave that had, was just like literally buried because um, the, the the dirt was like still super high. And I looked over to it and I was like, hmm. And spirit was like, no. Like I just heard in my head, no, don't do it. So I was just like, okay. And then I looked at my father's um grave and he basically said in my mind, you know, you can use mine. You can use my dirt. Um, You know, I'll I'll help you. But like, I didn't have anything to dig it up because my father has been buried for almost five years, five years this year. So, it, you know, it's kind of hard to, to get it off of his site. But um, next time I go, I'm going to make sure like I have a shovel so I can like get a little something. Okay. <laughs> um, but you can definitely use like a pendulum if you'd like to confirm if 
Like, but again, like it's best to just be able to really know yourself and be able to know and trust your intuition. Okay. So once you've selected a site, um, if you don't know this particular person, I would definitely try and build a relationship with them. So getting the information off their headstone, and this may mean that you have to go back and forth a couple times. But again, if you don't know this person, this person then this is what you want to do if you know that this is if you know your ancestor and you know and they tell you yeah go ahead and work with me then you don't need to do any of this extra research stuff okay so doing the research in order to figure out you know who this person is building a relationship with them um you know seeing why they pass seeing you know what good can they bring to your life is going to be best that also shows that you have respect and that you want to get to know this spirit so if you want to go and talk to them and you know say hey look you know here's some rum if you help me you know i will you know continue to come back and give you rum or whatever like i would never obviously make any type of life um threatening um deals with any spirit like we we are stronger than that so you know we don't make deals with spirits okay we don't do that but what we will do is give something in exchange for something that is what we will do okay so again rum um tobacco you if you want to bring marijuana if you know they love weed you can do that um money uh you know anything like that what i did because again i did not take this particular dirt from my father's site so when i came home i actually burned a white candle and i burned some ancestor money for that particular spirit i asked them if that's would that be okay? And they said yes. Um, and so, you know, we were all good. Okay. Everything is in balance, right? Um, next point I want to make is actually collecting the dirt. So extracting the dirt from the ground. So what I did was I had like a little plastic bag and basically I just used the dirt. I picked it up with my hand and I put it in the bag and I just kept putting dirt in until spirit told me to stop. Okay. Um, you don't have to go and take a big mound of dirt. You only need a little bit, a little sprinkle, sprinkle is really all you need because it's all about the energy that is within the ground. Okay. Um, and that's what we mean by when, like when we're working with dark energy is that we're working with the energy that has been implanted into the ground from that particular um, person, all right? Their soul um, is dispersed. And so that energy is in and around their tombstone, okay? Um, and so what that means is that that energy of the dirt can be used, right? Ashes to ashes, dust to dust, like everything will be returned back to its natural form, its natural state. Um, and so that is the idea of this, all right? Um, so once you have the dirt, you know, again, you want to be discreet. Uh, I was very discreet when I was picking the dirt. I made sure I looked around, you know, no one was there. Okay, let me get my dirt and get the hell out of here, okay? So I got my dirt and I basically left. Now, um, as far as, excuse me, you guys, as far as when you leave um, the cemetery, now, what you wanna do is you wanna cleanse yourself also. Florida water, make sure you Florida water your back, your arms, down to your toes. If you have sage, then you can sage yourself. If you have sage spray, sage your spray yourself. Sage your car, you know, make sure there's nothing that's gonna be attached to you. Now, because I formed a relationship with this particular cemetery, I have many family members that are buried there. My cousin is actually buried right next to my father. Um, you know, they, we ain't gonna play that shit. We, you know, they ain't gonna play that shit. They gonna make sure I'm good. Okay. I'm good. I'm taken care of. All right. So there you have that. Okay. <laughs> but if you're going to a place where you don't know anybody, then of course you want to make sure that you cleanse yourself. All right. If you're walking into the graveyard of the cemetery, um, they say to walk backwards so that like nothing can attach itself to your back. So you want to walk backwards out of the cemetery. Um, if you're driving, they say to like, um, like don't have on like any air or whatever, like ugh, whatever, like you do what you feel like is necessary um, when you leave. But again, you just, the important part is you want to make sure you cleanse yourself and cleanse your aura. Okay. I would even take a spiritual bath um, after you do this type of work in order to reset yourself and cleanse yourself. Okay. Um, once you get home, I didn't do anything to the dirt. I didn't like sage the dirt. I just put the dirt in this part, in this plastic thing here and it just sits right here you know and it's ready for me to work um a, a later video will come when i tell you guys like how to use the graveyard dirt but this is just getting it and extracting it 
Okay. Now, um, as far as like which grade to pick, cause I know you're probably like, okay, well, how do I know, you know, how do I know which grade to pick? Number one, it's going to be all about your intuition. Now it also can be work related. Okay. So if you're trying to extract dirt in order to hack someone, then I would definitely say to get dirt from, um, the site of someone who was a criminal. All right. Someone who did bad in their life, you know, someone who went against all odds in their life and, you know, was like this reckless ass human being. Okay. So that the, the thought process behind that is that because this person was a criminal, um, in the, the physical life in our 3d realm here that they're most likely still have the same mindset when they transition just because someone transitions doesn't mean that they all of a sudden become this angelic like source of energy like they are still doing that shit over in the afterlife okay they still doing that shit transitioning okay that's why like if you are in touch with like spirit and you know you're all about being like clairsentient and being able to feel and hear spirits and smell things clairvoyant as well um clair audio then you'll know that spirits like sometimes spirits will manifest with the smell of a cigarette um with the smell of a um of a cigar or you'll smell like perfume or a cologne from a particular spirit that spirit still harnesses that energy from the from here from the physical so don't think that they're not still on that same wavelength when they transition so that's what i mean if you want to go to like let's say like um a war um cemetery where you know people died um you know in battle and things like that they already have that energy of being in battle and fighting so they will fight for you they will fight as long as they want to work with you um you know of course and you're doing the proper exchange then in the physical through spiritual work through through dark energy work that particular energy is going to want to fight for you or work with you in order to make shit happen in your life um or in order to hex that person so Okay. Um, if you want to manifest, um, you know, fertility, you may want to work with a child spirit. Um, you may want to work with a woman that, you know, may have been pregnant when she passed, you know, and she really wants to help you to, to get pregnant. Um, you may want to work with like a grandmother spirit, someone who's very matronly, you know, in order to get that matronly support in order to get pregnant. All right. So these are just examples of what I mean. Of course, it's up to you to do further research. And of course, it's up to you to do the work on your own. But I just wanted to bring a video to you guys talking about graveyard work, um, touching, I should say, on graveyard work, touching on cemetery work, um, and touching on the work of dark energy, dark workers, dark matter, whatever it is that you want to um, call it. It is what it is. It is basically doing the work. Okay. So if you guys have any questions, of course, you can hit me up on my website at www.divinechakras.com. And let's, let's converse. Let's, let's converse down below. So if you, if you actually are doing graveyard work or let's say you're afraid and you want to know how to release the fear of going into a cemetery and extracting dirt, because I was a little apprehensive at first, but I got over my shit and I was like, you know what, sis? Like, if you want things to go the way you need them to go and you want them to go, you got to kind of, you know, stretch the bar and do something that you've never done before. And not only was it super exhilarating, um, but it was also very fulfilling to know that I have a spirit that is willing to work with me, um, you know, outside of my father, obviously, but, um, daddy, I cannot wait to come back and see you and get a little bit of dirt <laughs> so that I can continue to do my magical work. Um, so again, you know, have fun with this, but of course this is very serious work. Um, this is very serious, um, like energy that you are of course, like coming into contact with. So you want to go in with a clear mind, with a clear head, um, make sure you cleanse yourself, make sure you cleanse yourself going in and make sure you cleanse yourself going out. It's very, very important. Um, and as always, make sure that you give back in order to receive. You cannot take something from a grave and think that that person is going to work with you if you did not give them something in exchange. Okay. In order to get, in order to receive, you must give first. All right. So namaste. I thank you guys for watching and I will check you in the next video. Peace.